hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a little bit different as you can tell from my thumbnail i will be using ordinary conical and braids to create your own do-it-yourself spring twist and guys look at these twists they are indeed very springy very flexible you can see how defined the curls are and you can choose colors there are so many colors in the conical and braids expression braiding hair so i use black hair and i also use this burgundy color hair that i had and i'm going to show you how i use these regular braids to create these beautiful twists so first of all you're going to be needing some straw to do this I could not get any straws where I'm at so I had these tie straps at home and I decided to try it I wasn't sure if it was gonna work because you know that the tie straps are a bit flat but based on the technique and the way the hair was wrapped on the straw the flatness of it didn't make a difference so you want to first of all ensure that the hair is properly detangled now if you are going to be using the hair that is not pre-stretched it is pretty much easy to feather out the ends um you know you just pull the ends out until you know some of them are a little bit longer some are a little bit shorter so they're not on the same length and that will ensure that the hair ends are not blunt and that the, the they don't unravel easily as well but the pre-stretch hair is actually easier and you have less work in it so you can choose a pre-stretch hair now what i'm doing is making a single wrap or a single twist from the um the tie strap that i'm using and once i make that first twist then i am going to wrap the hair around the tie strap so if you notice what i'm doing i'm using my wrist i'm flipping my wrist back and forth and this is going to create a coil action on the actual hair itself you want to ensure that the twists are close together when you wrap them around the straw so just flip the wrist back and forth and this is going to coil the hair in your fingers before wrapping it around the straw and this is what creates the beautiful curls make them really springy super defined and again you want to ensure that they are really close together so if you wrap the hair around the straw and they're not very close you can simply hold the hair and the straw together and push it up so that they are really close the closeness is what's going to give you the really defined tight curls so just slide it up on the straw like that ensure that there are no spaces between and continue wrapping now if you're brand new to my channel welcome and please subscribe before you go and if you like this video please give this video a big thumbs up and of course if you have any ideas that you'd like to share with me or anything that you'd like for me to try out be sure to leave that in the comment section i'm open for for suggestions and i'm open to new ideas so you can let me know what videos you'd like to see me do all right now if you're going to be using a straw to do this you might want to get a few bobby pins as well so you need bobby pins at the beginning of the twist and you might need bobby pins at the end now if you notice i did not use any bobby pins at the end of mine that's because the ends are feathered out so the long strands are wrapped around each other and it actually holds it in place so there's no need for me to use a bobby pin I also didn't need one at the beginning because the tie strap has a little bump so the hair will not be able to pass over that bump but if you are going to be using the regular straw then of course the hair can easily slide over the straw so you want to ensure that you just pin it in place using a bobby pin in that case all right so i am showing you guys in real time i'm not um fast i'm not speeding up the process i'm not slowing it down i'm just showing you at regular speed so you put the hair over the straw make one twist at first and then you continue wrapping and ensure that the hair is closely wrapped as much as possible 
to ensure that your curls are really tight and nice so you flip the wrist back and forth and around the straw until the hair is done that's it so guys this is actually um, a way in which you can save some funds on spring twist hair so if you were to purchase a pack of spring twist hair it would cost you approximately seven dollars to purchase one single pack and this is actually starting at the shortest length which is the eight inch and of course if you're purchasing colored hair it's going to be more and if you're purchasing a longer inch um, here you're definitely going to pay more for that as well and also for each pack of spring twist hair it has about 15 strands of hair in it and for you to achieve a style depending on the style that you're going to be doing for a whole head you probably need about six to seven packs of spring twist hair now if each pack costs about seven dollars and you need about seven packs you're looking at approximately fifty dollars and i'm talking about us dollars um the currency will vary depends on where you are located and um you know how much they sell it for at your local stores but we're talking about us so here you can make your own spring twist hair a pack of braids will cost you approximately two dollars us and again it depends on where you are and the currency you're using and a pack of hair can give you like about uh, maybe the entire six packs depending on which of the hair you purchase if you purchase like the 84 inches expressions hair that can be cut into three sections and you can get like quite a number of twists from that now for the takedown part it is pretty easy oh before i get to the takedown um once i have the hair twisted the only thing that you want to do is to put the hair into some hot water and once you get it into the hot water you allow it to stay there for at least a minute or so and the coils will form you can also add um, conditioner to the water to soften the hair if you like and um, once the hair is dry then this is the result so these I did these ahead of time these ones are already dry as you can tell and the takedown is pretty easy all you have to do is just slide it along the, the, the straw and it comes right off curls are still intact and guys look how springy and how defined these curls are and this was like effortless effortless and it's so inexpensive so you're saving some bucks if you want to make your own spring twist here at home and I'm so excited to show you what I'm going to be doing with these hair so I will be doing a butterfly lock hair for lock and I will show you guys in the next video how I create that hairstyle using these hair that I'm showing you right now and as I said I did quite a number of them off camera and I did them in the interest of time now to this I'm going to be adding this moisturizing finishing mist from soft sheen Carson to the hair so according to the product it says it's for all hair textures and it's ultra light formula restores body and shine for soft touchable curls and it did deliver on its promise that's exactly what it did it leaves the hair feeling so so soft and so natural now if you don't have any of this like i said you can just add some conditioner to the water when you're pouring the hot water on it and once you're finished you can just spritz it with some oil sheen it may not be necessary because the hair itself has a natural sheen to it and once you hot water it it gives it even more sheen so the hair sheen may not be um necessary at that time but yeah this was so interesting i thought I, I believe that this was entertaining um i think it was also educational let me know what you guys think about this video and like i said if you have a suggestion for me if there's something that you'd like to see me do i will be happy to give it my best shot 
but this is all there is that I did to these braids to create this beautiful do-it-yourself spring twist at home all right so please remember to subscribe to my channel if you like this video please give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think of this video and also if you have something else that you'd like to see me do and also remember to watch my video that i'll be posting showing you how i created a style using these beautiful spring twists all right so i thank you guys so much for your time thank you for watching my video and i will definitely see you in the next video thanks for watching guys bye